The truth of the matter is that the Patriotic Front injected $3.2 billion in the energy sector. Before PF came into government, we were producing less than 1,000 megawatts of power. By the time the Patriotic Front left government, we left 3,458 megawatts of power against our demand of 2,300 megawatts. This is the work that the PF did. From 1,700 megawatts of power to 3,456 megawatts of power with $3.2 billion injected in the land sector. Today, Zambia should not be talking about load shedding. Actually, I'm told it's uh, load management. No. Zambia should not be talking about load management. Zambia should not be talking about load shedding. They should stop playing with people's lives by using semantics. Whether it's load shedding, it's load management. The issue is that Zambia is starting from today will not be having electricity for a period of not less than six hours as a minimum bare minimum per day okay now i i always want to deal with the facts first of all i want to make it very clear to the zambian people that is not the issue i say i saw the president again when i was addressing the council on foreign um relations in the united states in washington he confessed that the patriotic front worked for the first time, we had President Haka in the summit. Paka mwa power, President Uvumi, na kutuwa PF and Asevets. Anamanga Marodi. Anamanga Mahospital. Paka mwa power, President. That was in Washington. And for me, I was saying, okay, thank you. We now have a convent. He has convented. He's now admitting that the Patriotic Front injected the money that we got from China into infrastructure. But again, he lied. And I want to be very clear. The president lied. A president Ananama. When he said the Patriotic Front ignored the energy sector. That was a lie, Mr. President. The Patriotic Front injected $3.2 billion of money into the energy sector. And like I've said, today Zambia is producing 3,456 megawatts of power. Our total demand at peak is 2,300 megawatts. PF worked and PF injected billions in the energy sector. So the president should stop blaming PF. I want to set the ground rules. One, he lied. Two, he should stop blaming PF. Number two, number three. Zesco and the government must stop lying to the Zambian people that we have load shedding or load management, whatever they call it, as a result of low, low water levels. They should stop lying to the Zambian people. Zesco itself, and I want to pick this from the Zesco managing director, Zesco, Mr. Joseph, Mr. the managing director for Zesco, and this is what he said, okay? And this is just in July, Mr. Victor Mapan. I want Zambians to listen to this. He said, Zesco has excess power of 1,000 megawatts, excess power. This is the managing director for Zesco, Mr. Victor Mapani. He was speaking during a high-level panel discussion at the Association of Power Utilities of Africa in Dhaka, Senegal. That was in July this year. And Victor Mapani says, currently, the installed national generation capacity stands at 3,456 megawatts compared to a peak national demand of 2,300. So Zesco Managing Director has told us that we have a surplus of 1,000 megawatts is coming from the Managing Director of Zesco. Let's move on. I want to quote again the chairperson, the board chairperson for Zesco, Mr. Vixon Ntube. This is what Mr. Vixon Ntube said that Zesco is not concerned or worried about the situation of low water levels at Kariba because Zesco no longer depends on Kariba alone for generation of electricity. It depends on the 750 megawatts Kafue Gorge Lower Power Station, which I think should be named the Ediga Chagwalungu Lower Power Station. 
because he's the one that cons who constructed it. It depends on the Kafue lower gold power station, which is being bringing on stream 750 megawatts. That is the board chairperson of Zesco. So it is very clear. There is no shortage of power. There is no shortage of power. We have surplus of 1,000 megawatts. What this government must do is to tell the Zambian the truth, the Zambian people the truth, that baguli samalai, tibagwa kule samalai, nibagwa kwa. Bari bere kushitisha fintu, bari bere rama sampo, bari shitisha malai. They are selling power to Namibia, they are selling power to Zimbabwe, they are selling power to South Africa. Let them come out and tell the Zambian people the truth.